Bitcoin has less adoption, less on-chain volume, no features in two years, less everything good that you'd fucking care about. The only good thing that's happened is SegWit opened up some other people could build on top. But how's that working out? There's $6 million of Bitcoin on Ethereum. I'm sorry, there's $6 million of Bitcoin in Lightning, and there's $4 million of wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum. And I guarantee, I, I would be willing to bet there will be more Bitcoin transacted on the Ethereum network in 12 months than there will be on Lightning. And so... I think you're probably right. You, it, you know, the stuff that's going on in Ethereum isn't beta. It works great now, and it's worked great for a long time. And we've got zero knowledge proofs. And like... <laughs> We've got ZK rollups and optimistic rollups and more development budget and bug bounty program. And you're just like, look, we have and more a devs. a huge developer community. I, I, I went to DevCon in Osaka a couple of ago. And this, and I was the number one. Passionate people they're trying to. So you chopped out a little bit. I believe you said you were in Osaka at the DevCon 5, I believe. And uh, you met a lot of passion. Yeah, people. and it was just an amazing, amazing amount of passion and, and, and people excited about it. And it was really uh, amazing to see just uh, how fantastic the Ethereum community is. It's a total uh, different world. So let me tell you how different the Ethereum world is. And, and you've been in the Ethereum world longer than me, so you probably know it better than I do. Um, it's, it's funny. People always tell me that I'm like a conceited uh, sociopath who, who thinks he's smarter than everyone. I don't. I do not think I'm smarter than everyone. I think Roger's got more money than me. I think Roger started more fucking Bitcoin businesses than me. I think he knows more about, you know, mining equipment because he's buying it and hosting it and shit. Like Roger knows a ton of things that I could learn. And I only know some things that he could learn from me. So I, I think, I think I can learn more from Roger than he can learn from me. But people, I don't know. They like, I, I guess humility is, is underrated or some shit. Like, I, well, there's a lot everyone's smarter than you at something you have to respect and honor everybody for what they're good at you know um in ethereum people are more friendly now they're not totally friendly right they're more friendly now how do, how do you know that because as a maximalist i know that i could put up a thread and say hey guys let's talk about what sucks about ethereum and everyone would pile on and tell you everything that that sucked about ethereum right ah they rolled back the chain Look at all these people losing money. Oh, Vitalik, if Vitalik dies, everything's gonna go to zero, right? Was there, what else did they say? Yeah. Did I miss any, or was that yeah. like all the anti-Ethereum stuff? But, yeah, the, 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 the Dow, right? The big yeah, Dow rollback. Roll right. Exactly, so. yeah. Which is funny, like they, they did fuck that up. They're like, code is law. Ah, we wrote the code wrong. Law is law, roll back the code. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, but so here's the nuance there. I talked so much shit about Ethereum because it was easy to do. And now all that stuff's still true, but you have to realize that the Ethereum network didn't fuck up. The people using it fucked up. The people that programmed the DAO wrote bad software and the Ethereum network did what it was supposed to do and executed their bad software. And then the socially enforced consensus network, which is all blockchains, all blockchains are socially enforced. Uh, enforced. Like you, you think there's a 21 million limit in Bitcoin? Miners don't have to let that shit go. They can just edit the EXE and now there's no happening. There doesn't have to be happening in six months. It's, it's an optional thing. So any, any network that you can improve by improving it, you can de-improve through the same mechanism. So if you, have, if you have any network that you can make better, you can make it worse through the same mechanism. So they use social consensus to take money away from a hacker. Some people didn't agree with it. And then they ended up with two coins. And in general, when you end up with two coins, you actually have a higher market cap across the two. Why? Because you're providing more value. These people are getting what they want more. These people are getting what they want more to some, to some degree, right? Like in theory, yep. maybe there could be some fork that, that gave somebody less, but because most Ethereum of Classic, the time, that the case, yeah. Yeah. Ethereum Classic did get 51% attacked. But the hacker gave the money back and you're just like, eh, there's so much nuance here. Um, so why do I tell you this? This is back to this lying and cheating and stealing stuff. Oh, Richard, Richard used to hate Ethereum. And now that he's got a token on Ethereum, he loves it. Guys, the reality changed. Okay. The people, I leave that article up, nine reasons why Bitcoin will always be better than Ethereum because it's all true. And 
the things I'm saying now are true too, right? So if you use the theorem wrong, you will get fucked up. And it's easier to use wrong because there's more things you can do. It's harder to lose money in Bitcoin because it's, you can't build anything on it. So it's like saying it's harder to lose money if you don't have any money, right? Like I can't, I can't get pickpocketed if I don't have a pocket, right? So Ethereum is a more powerful network that can do more things. You can, you can have Bitcoin wrapped on Ethereum. Try wrapping Ethereum on Bitcoin. It's, it sucks, right? There's two companies that tried to build on Bitcoin. So I think Roger and I first met uh, 2013, maybe? In, in, yeah, in Amsterdam, Amsterdam, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we met a couple, like quite a few times at different events. Um, you know, I remember we went out to dinner there and uh, you're trying to get the restaurant lady to accept uh, Bitcoin, you know? So Roger, I think I did, right? The, the Thai restaurant, is that the one? Yep, that was the one. Yeah, it is. Um, and she's still and she's still involved in Bitcoin to this very day. So some of great. my guys at Bitcoin.com they go and visit her when they're in, in Amsterdam, and she still is. This this one thing I love about Roger is he wants the sale. He wants you to start using Bitcoin. He will give it to you. He'll put it on your phone. He will wear the T-shirt and he will talk about it and he'll evangelize it. And he used to do that for the the project that had BTC as a ticker, and now he does it for the project that has BCH as a ticker primarily. But listen, you know. Bitcoin.com has an exchange and they just listed Hex, which is my project. And they also list a lot of other things. And he he's, wants the world to be a better place. And he's not a prick maximalist about it. Anything that'll get the job done, he's willing to work with and listen to. So that's fucking good. Like what, what more do you want? You know? So other, other good things I know Roger's trying to do. To be um, honest though, I'm, I'm kind of un decided on, on ethereum there's lots of tokens on ethereum i can sell you on ethereum like i and that I works like your tokens can... you're gonna have to repeat that last sentence because the uh, the connection dropped can you repeat the last sentence let's let's try dropping the video because your video just paused anyway I, i'm not sure you know i'm kind of undecided on it here Sure. All right. So you're gonna to have to repeat the last forty five seconds. Better. Is that better audio for you now? Um yep. So repeat the last forty five seconds. Play with sure. So um I was basically saying that I'm you know, I'm some latency here as well, it seems like. I'm saying that yeah, sure. I'm saying that I'm still kind of undecided on, on hex. Oh which, uh, undecided on hex, sure. Yeah, so like uh well, do you have questions? Why, do you have why questions? I can answer. Why not some other token on Ethereum? I mean, nice sure. So, so Roger's question was, okay. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to talk over you.